uns auch bis sehr gut. Welcome to Newton Free Library's Virtual Storytime. Today we're going to read The Little Red Hen. The Little Red Hen by Florence White Williams. A little red hen lived in a barnyard. She spent almost all her time walking about the barnyard in her brickety brickety little way, scratching everywhere for worms. When she found a worm, she would call cluck, 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 to her cluck, little cluck. chickies. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Also nearby lived a cat who napped lazily in the barn door, not even bothering herself to scare the rat who ran here and there as he pleased. And as for the pig who lived in the sty, he did not care what happened as long as he could eat and grow fat. One day, the little red hen found a seed. It was a wheat seed. Carrying it about, she made many inquiries as to what it might be. She found it was a wheat seed and that, if planted, it would grow up. And when ripe, it could be made into flour and then into bread. When she discovered that, she knew it should be planted. So she asked the pig and the rat and the cat, who will plant the seed? But the pig said, not I, oink, oink. And the cat said, not I, meow. And the rat said, squeak, squeak, not I. Well then, said the little red hen, I will. And she did. Then she went on with her daily duties through the long summer days, scratching for worms and feeding her little chickies. And then the pig grew fat, the cat grew fat, the rat grew fat, and the wheat grew tall and ready for harvest. So one day the little red hen noticed how large the wheat was and the grain was ripe. So she called about briskly, who will cut the wheat? The pig said, not I, oink, oink. The cat said, not I, meow. And the rat said, not I, squeak, squeak. Oh, I suppose I will then, said the little red hen. And she did. She got the sickle from the farmer's tool and cut off all the big plants of wheat. Then she laid the wheat on the ground, ready to be gathered and threshed. And the hen's chicks went beep, 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 beep. Poor little hen, she didn't know where to turn. So again, she called out to the animals, hopefully, who will thresh the wheat? But the pig said, not I, oink, oink. And the cat said, not I, meow. And the rat said, not I, squeak, squeak. So the little red hen, looking discouraged, said, well then, I will. And she did. So she went out and threshed the wheat. And then she called out, who will carry the wheat to the mill to be ground? Not I, said the pig, oink, oink. Not I, said the cat, meow. Not I, said the rat, squeak, squeak. So the good little hen could do nothing but say, I will, and she did. So she carried the sack of wheat to the distant mill and ordered the wheat to be ground into beautiful white flour. When the miller brought her the flour, she walked all the way back to her own barnyard in her pickety peckety fashion. After this strenuous day, Mrs. Hen went to sleep 
But in the morning, her little chicks woke her up. Beep, beep, beep. She thought, well then, somehow, I must make the wheat into bread. So she hunted up the pig, the cat, and the rat. Surely they would help her now. So she sang out, alas, who will help me bake the bread? Not I, said the pig. Oink, oink. Not I, said the cat. Meow, meow. And not I, said the rat. Squeak, squeak. So the little red hen once more said, I will. And she did. And she made the dough and divided the dough into loaf pans and baked the bread. At last, the great moment arrived. A delicious odor was wafting up the uh, autumn breeze. And everywhere, the barnyard animals sniffed the air with delight. <laughs> and although she appeared perfectly calm, she could only with difficulty restrain an impulse to dance and sing, for she had done all the work on this wonderful bread. So she looked at the loaf and joy of joys, the lovely brown loaves were pure perfection. So the little red hen called out, who will eat the bread? All the animals in the barnyard were watching hungrily, smacking their lips in anticipation. The pig said, I will. And the cat said, I will. And the rat said, so will I. But the little red hen said, no, you won't. We will. And they did. The end. Oh, let's see. <laughs>